In JavaScript, all data types can be classified into two fundamental categories, that is the primitive types and also the reference types. So the primitive types are the ones that we already knew, like numbers or strings, booleans, which are true or false values, the null value, which is null in JavaScript, and also undefined values. But apart from this, we also have the reference types, and these are objects, arrays, and also functions. So these are called reference types in JavaScript, and there is one key distinction between between reference types in JavaScript and primitive types in JavaScript, and that is how these types are assigned and copied in the memory. First, let's start with primitive types. When you assign a primitive value to a variable, let's say you have a variable x and you assign a primitive type like number 5, a copy of this value is created and stored in the variable's memory location. And if you assign another primitive value, let's say y, and you assign this to be the same as x, Another copy is created for this y variable and it is stored in the memory. So now if we try to change the x and let's set this to 10 and if we console log both of these values, the x and y, you can see that for x we have 10 because we just reassigned it but for y we still have 5 because we created a copy at this point and y is still assigned to 5 and it wasn't reassigned to 10 like x. But where this gets different is for reference types. Let's say we have an object called object1 and this object has a single property name and for this one it is set to a list and when you assign an object to a variable, the variable stores a reference memory address to that object and multiple variables can reference to the same object which means that if we create another object, let's name this to be object2 and we assign this to be the same as object1 in this case, unlike the above example, a new memory is not created. It is basically pointing to the same object that we have here for the object 1. First, let's console log both of these. Let's console log the object 1 and object 2. You can see that for now we have set both of their names to Alice. And let's say now we want to change the object to name and we want to set this to be Bob. If we change it to Bob, you can see that both of their names have been changed, not only for object 2, but also for object 1. And that is because both of these objects, the first and second one, are pointing to the same object in the memory. And when we change one property on one of them, we also change it for the second one. And this is important to know because if we wanted to change only the second object's name, we will get unexpected errors in our program. So for such cases, you need to create a copy of that object, which means that it will be copied into another memory in our program. And let's say we create a new object, let's call it object3. We can destructure the object one here and this means that we created a new object and we destructured the properties here but we haven't assigned this to be the same memory as the object one. And if we do it this way, now we can change the object free name and we can set it to something new like new name and let's console log it here near the object two. You can see that for object 1 and object 2, we are using the same memory and both of their names are the same. But for the object 3, we have this new name and we haven't modified the previous names of the first object. And this is important to understand because in your program you might have scenarios where you need to use the same object and in that case you can use it like this and you will also save some memory because you are using the same object for two variables. But you might have some cases where you need to copy the object but also add some additional properties without modifying the first one and in that case you need to use something like destructuring and create a new copy of this object which means that it will be copied into a new memory slot in your program. And that same thing applies to arrays and functions. Let's say we have an array which is numbers from 1 to 3 and then we assign the second array to be the same as first array. You can save them in the console here. Now if we want to add a fourth item in the second array and we assign this to be 4, you can see that array 1 was also modified and that is because we are using these same memories for both array 1 and array 2. And if you don't want this to happen, you can still use the destructuring but in arrays and you can destructure the first array here. And then in this case, you will have 1, 2, 3 in the first array, but 1, 2, 3 and also the fourth item in the second array. And this is also important when working with functions. Let's say you have a function which changes the value of the number that you provide. And here we have seen 
single argument which is number and just as a simple example let's say this changes the number and sets it to 10 and when you pass a primitive value like a number to a function the function receives a copy of that value and the changes that are made here are made within that function and they don't affect the global variable and what that means is let's say we have a number one variable here and we assign this to five and now we pass it to this change value which changes that number one and sets it to ten if after this operation we console log that number one we see that it is still five and it wasn't modified and set it to ten and that's because this operation is happening inside function body and it received the copy of that number so this num is not exactly the same as number one and when we do some modifications here we do that on a copy of this number and not the same number that we have here but this changes when we use reference types inside of a function let's create another function and this one will be responsible for changing the name on a person object so here once we receive the person object we will alter the name property and we will set it to be bob no matter what it was initially let's create a new variable let's call this person one and here we will set a single property which is name and let's set this to alice now if we call that function change name and we pass our person one it will receive this person one here and it will change the name and set it to bob and if we console log the person one after this operation you can see that the name was altered and it was set to bob and why this is important to understand is because if you don't want to alter this person object that you passed to this function you need to create a copy of that object and here inside of the function body before doing this operation you can copy that object let's say copy of person and you can copy that person by doing again destructuring and accessing all of the attributes of this person and now instead of altering the person name you can alter the copy of person name and in that case you will still have the same name on the person one object that you have here so now you know that primitive types are stored directly while reference types use memory addresses and this impacts how your code utilizes the memory in JavaScript.